That's fish. It's a big one. It's a huge one. What is up, guys? We're back here on another episode of Thor Outdoors. Today, we're back at the same spot. We're back at uh, Brazos by PK. But we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Today, we're on the hunt for river smallmouth. As you can see, it's a beautiful morning here in Texas. Uh, can't wait to try and target some smallmouth. Uh, I got some stuff tied up in the truck. Um, I'll show you guys that here in a second. And I can't wait to get down the river and get some lines in. Get the guys down there. All right, guys, we got trout blowing up here early in the morning. Right now, I'm just throwing this. Oh, wow, I chunked that mug. Right now, I'm just throwing this weightless fluke. I got a new spinning reel. As you see right here, it's a Lose Speed Spin Mach 1. Got it from Academy the other day. Hmm? Oh yeah, we'll go way down to the right. All right, guys. So here's what I'm throwing right here. I'm throwing this little weightless fluke. I'm throwing it weightless on a little two-out hook. Uh, I'm throwing 10-pound braid with the eight-pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm trying to imitate a little minnow. This is what these trout are eating right now. These trout and these bass. They're feeding up on these little minnows right now. Am I over you or under you? I don't know. Oh, it's a fish. reel in. I think it's a trout. No, I got it. Here we go, guys. We're hooked up on our first fish. What is it? That's a bass. Oh my god! It's a striper! Oh my god, that was not expected. Look, Cade. Cade! He has one too. Nice. Did not expect that. What is it? I know people catch him out of here, but he that is a striper if I've ever seen one. Little guy, that's nice. That's cool, that's always fun. No wonder he's fighting so hard. All right, let's get let him go. All right, guys, so we're moving down the river here. Tanner's somewhere back there. But uh, right now, we're just working our way. Our goal right now is to fish these rocks. Um, trying to find a real good transition point, and we think this is a real good one in the river bend. Uh, right now, I'm throwing a weightless fluke. I think Cade's throwing a jerk bait, but you'll see that in his video. So right now, we're just trying to work these transition points, or work towards these transition points, and uh, where this gravel starts to turn into bigger rocks. So hopefully that does the trick. We'll see. Hey, real might be spinning right in. Really quick, really quick. All right, boys, hooked up here. Oh my God, this is big, bro. It's, it's it is? Yeah. Got him? You get him? Nice! <laughs> Alright guys, well, we came out here to target smallmouth, but this is my second striper of the day. This one's a tank. Well, not exactly a tank, but it's a lot bigger than that first one I caught. We're down the river too a ways. Caught this nice guy. Look at that, he just freaking choked it. Oh, that's cool. Let me get some pictures of this guy and then we're going to get a release on him. Awesome. Here we go, y'all. Letting this striper go. There he goes. 
What are we doing? Mm, doing it. Slippery. And uh, so we're gonna walk back there and flip some jigs back in some lay downs and stuff like that that are back here in this little bend. So trying to get a good flipping bite. What are we doing, Cade? He said we're doing it. What is this? Oh my God. Did you hear that drag? Oh my God. Oh my God. That was a nice one. Oh, did you hear that drag? He pulled drag, bro. Where were you? Literally right here in the middle. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. Picture of them? Heck yeah. Oh my. Case picks up too. Look at this freaking stud, guys. You gonna finesse it, Ken? I'm guessing this is about a four pounder. I just think we're gonna get a weight on this guy. This is a tank. We're gonna take some pictures with him. Double up. Yeah, bro. Look at this double up, y'all. Let's appreciate this. Oh. <laughs> All right. He's gonna eat y'all. All right. We're gonna take some cool pictures of this guy and then uh, put him back in. I'll get a release video up on you. Wait on this big girl right here. Hadn't gotten wet, has it? No, this is here. Th oh, close. Right in between what I said. Three, seven. You guys can, I don't know if you guys can see that because it's not a high quality camera, but three, three, seven, five on this big girl. Let's get a release. It's nice, man. You want to get a cool picture release or no? Yeah. Oh, she's ready. And there she goes. Doing it. Dang it, I never record when I have fish on. This fish has been living here a long time, you can tell. Yep. Well, I spoke too soon. I just pitched to a little lay down over there and caught this little bitty bitty guy. Put him back. That son of a hit me. These fish like biting today, and I don't know why. We've concluded they do not want the jig bite, so I tied on this little drop shot for a fluke with a fluke. You know, I had that weightless one tied on, but I don't just want to get a little bit deeper, a little bit quicker. So I tied on this drop shot. See how it goes. Let's hope I don't get hung. That was weird. Oh, I'm getting hits. What? There we go. Oh! He jumped out. He spit it. I knew this was going to work. What is it? Uh, drop shot fluke. No, he just spit the hook. Hey guys, just a little update for you. We've worked our way down those boulders. Um, I haven't caught any fish. Tanner caught, he caught some nice largemouth. Um, you know, it's never a good thing when you got all three rods out, right? Like this. You know, uh, I was drop shotting a little fluke, and I actually got, well, I had a fish, but he just, I guess I didn't get a good hook set or whatever right now. So I think we need to go a little bit finesse. I mean, we've got clouds out and there's a little bit of wind, so it's not too bad, but um, I think we need to go finesse for today. So that's why I've been throwing this. Uh, drop shotted fluke. I'm trying to just imitate a little ghost minnow here. You know, because we've been seeing bass eating them. I caught those two striper you guys saw on that. Well, not on the same thing, but I caught one, caught them on a fluke. So I think those these bass are really chasing these fluke today. I mean, because I caught one right here, but he just got off. Uh, so we're about to work our way down the river. Again, the goal for today is to catch a smallmouth, or for me to catch a spotted bass, because I've never caught a spotted bass either. So. Uh, we're going to work our way down the river a little bit, some places where Kate has caught fish before, uh, and some places he hadn't before. We're going to try and get on some smallmouth, maybe some spots. We're just trying to catch fish, y'all. Um, so we'll see you guys at the new spot. What was that? That felt like a bluegill. There's tons of bluegill in this little area. Let's put these rocks down here. That's a fish. Oh my god. It's 
a freaking tank. And I got the whole thing on video. Hey, maybe you really are good luck. Look at that. I really think you are good luck. Look at that. It's got a freaking tank. Probably a solid two and a half. I'm not getting the beacon. Here, we'll look in. Yeah, I'm getting the beacon now. What kind of camera do you have? This is a Sony right here. I really think you are good luck. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Say again? Do you like cannons? Go back. No. We haven't done that in a while, have we? That's fish. Dang, got the whole thing on video too. Oh my god. These fish fight so hard. You want me to grab it? It's a big one. It's a huge oh one. God. Hey, look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't, 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 don't grab it there. Hold on, Tanner. Oh, you hit me. Oh my god. Okay, he's not seven. Wait, don't put it in the water. He's another like six. Well, that's a tank. That's a freaking... That's another Goliath grouper. That's a tarpon. We're doing, doing it. Look at this. Look at this fish, guys. Oh my god. This mm, might be my PB. We'll see what the weight is. is it? It's going to be pushing it. I don't want to jump Yeah. He's got... Oh my god, he could eat my camera. My guess for the one Joe pool is five and a half. Slurp that craw. I'm gonna say 5.5 .5 with the one Joe pool. Freaking stud, guys. I'm about to double that. Are you pulling out the big camera? I'm gonna make sure he's hooked. Oh my gosh. Freaking studs. This is why you fish rivers. Fish with the stuff. Well, we're way off. It's about a four and a half. Four six, four five, four five four. There you go, guys. Four five four. It's four, still five, a huge, huge fish. Beautiful fish, too. Look how dark it is. You know what we're doing? What are we doing? We're doing it. We're doing it. This is amazing. Um, I'm sorry, because this is the only thing I have to record my outro on. Um, tough luck. The camera sucks. Anyways, so I'm editing the video you guys are watching right now. And as you can tell, unfortunately, we did not catch any smallmouth, um, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's okay. We still had a great day. Caught a lot of big fish. Um, as you can tell, yes, I did get a haircut. Feels great. Um, yes, I am out of the sling. Still not fully recovered yet. Um, but we will continue this series very soon. Uh, the quest for a new species or smallmouth uh, will be continuing very soon in the near future. Maybe a week from now. A uh, certain weekend coming up. But, you know, we'll see. Um, just got back from church editing this video you guys are watching. Hope everyone had a great Easter Sunday. And... Stay tuned for some more. So, stay tuned for some more stuff in the near future.